Hello everyone, this is MJBS channel and today I'm going to show a real quick tutorial how to make 1.2.4 Minecraft server. So with that said, we need all of this stuff in here. Actually what we need only those two for now. So first of all, here's the server that I already created before. Let me just delete everything in here. Start off from fresh and new. So in starter tools you should be looking something like that. Whenever you download it from description, the file will be in the description. Should be looking something like that. Looks like that. What we do is get a crab bucket or jar and put it in the bucket server folder. Now open up your text edit and save this. Make it plain text if it's not plain text in here. If all this has a rich text, make it plain text. Um, see the file as start dot command. In here, we, I save it in here, but you're gonna always move the file in here. Then try open it up. Just see the files start command will not be executed because you don't have a appropriate access privilege. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the computer to know that we want to run a Minecraft server. With that said, we open up the terminal. And what we do, you can find this in the starter tools in terminal, the code. If you guys can't see it from here. By the way, I recommend to put it on full screen the video. If you guys want to see everything clearly. And put it on a high quality could be. So here it is chmod 8 plus x. And what we do, we'll put the start command into here. Then we press press enter. With that said, we finally have a Minecraft server now. What we do, open up the start command in here. And you should automatically create the map for us. Like the, um, sorry for the sound. Automatically create the map, automatically create the nether, and automatically create the end world. Let's close up this right now. And here it is, those three worlds. So now let's put the IP in. This is for the port forwarding. If you if you want to find out how to make a Hamachi server, try searching on the internet or try to connect with my how uh, to download a Hamachi tutorial. So in here, this is the plugins, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's leave the train on the server for later. So let's delete this one. We don't really need this one. We can create it using this zip file in here. What do we do? We unzip this file. We open it up. We paste everything from here into here. We go back. And then what we do, we start up the server again. That, automatic, that will automatically install all those plugins. So here it is. It's done now. It's done the plugins. So now for the port forwarding, we open up the port map. It says the router and in Comfortable. That means either the port map lags, so try refreshing it, try restarting your computer, or either you, your router cannot be port forward. So that's why there's Hamachi for you guys. For some people, I recommend not downloading Hamachi. Hamachi might give you a virus. Not a lot of people like Hamachi, especially me. I don't really use it, I haven't installed it, but last time I used it was about a year or two ago when. I was running a Hamachi server. As soon as I find out how to port forward the server, I stop using Hamachi forever. Okay, so in here, just show up your the IP of your uh, IP to connect to your router from this computer. What we do is we go to the server properties, and here we put this IP 192.168.167 save that file 
that's pretty much it for now. So to port forward, all you need to do is download this port map. It should turn off. Should be having uh, green dot beside it. Or is it an old update? Uh, they should not even have anything. You should say your IP address, your IP address. To check if it actually says your IP address, go to the window. Go to the IP chicken. And in here, it has this kind of IP in here. We copy, we make sure that it's simple to this IP. And we give this IP to all people who wants to join the server. So now, what we do is try out the server. That's our command, because my router is already port forward using the settings. In the router, whenever you put the IP, your uh, computer IP into the into the into the Google Chrome or whatever web browser you have, it should lead you to the place to the place I would place I would say because it's a uh, not a website to the your router where you can edit the settings, port forward your router and stuff like that. So in here we'll open up the Minecraft folder. Log into Minecraft. Multiplayer. Let's go on the server. My server. So now it should start up something like this. Great automatically. You will not spawn in the same place that I'm spawning. You will spawn in another place. You will spawn in on another map. The maps are all different. A lot of cows spawn beside me. And here we have all these tools. This is the essentials working out here. The tools whenever you start. If you die really easily, you can't get those tools again. This is only for the starters, the first people to join the server. We have this welcome Mega Master to the server. It will show up as soon as a new player joins. So it would say, for example, welcome Mega Demaster to the server. Welcome Joe Craft to the server. It will say something like that. So, guys, with that said, this is it. This is how you host a really easy Minecraft server, pour over the server, and get the essentials for your server. So, guys, let's start off. Let's stop the server. And that's it. So, guys, thank you for watching. See you guys next time on MGBS channel. Bye.